Welcome back, everybody, and happy Black Friday. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Today, we're going to be creating this little dude called Dash from the Enola Holmes movie. So you're going to need a pine cone, some black beads, scissors, twine of some sort, cotton of some sort, tweezers, and hot glue. And the last thing you'll need is some black yarn. So we're gonna get started here. Just make a little space on my work table. This little dude, I'm gonna give you a little history on him. He's just so freaking cute. But to start off, what I did was I took the pine cone and I just cleared out any of the natural forest debris and got it cleaned up as best I could. So Dash is this little dog that Enola Holmes makes out of a pine cone when she's a little girl. And he's so freaking cute, I decided I just had to make one. So, if you haven't seen the Enola Holmes movie, it's on Netflix and it was amazing. Not sponsored. But it's a really good movie and I highly recommend watching it. So once we have the pine cone all cleared out, oh man, I'm so bad about that with my phone making noises. I'm so sorry. Let me just fix that right now. Also, I think the neighbors are putting up like Christmas lights or something. There's a lot of banging going on. It's the neighbors. I apologize now. If you can hear it. I don't know if the mic's picking it up or not. <laughs> anyway, so I took the cotton and I started shredding it out a bit and then just started covering a bulk of the small end of the pine cone to make the face part of it. And then continue to just do some like feathery type cotton situation around the front half of the pine cone basically which you can see here in the video So now that I got the cotton to where I'm liking it, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out two of these black beads. These are just pony beads. You can use whatever you want. You don't even have to use beads technically. You could use the black yarn for this also, but I wanted to use these beads. They seemed like the perfect size and I was right. Kinda happy about that. So I just took the hot glue and then I placed the pony bead where I wanted the eyes to be, but I did it so that uh, the I don't know, the side of the bead is sticking out forward. I didn't want the whole of the bead to be sticking out forward. So that's how I did this. And then once these beads got glued on, I just ended up making with the cotton. Again, you could use like cotton balls or something that might be easier, I don't know. But I just made these like little tiny snake-like cotton snakes or whatever to make the brow bone so that it looked like the eyes were inset into the cotton. So then once I got the eyes to where I thought I wanted them, I added a little bit more cotton to the nose to make it a little bit more prominent, added a little bit more cotton around the eyes, just kind of finessing him to where I was happy with how his face was looking. So now that that's done, it's time to pull out the yarn. And this is the fun part. This is, I was making his ears this way. So I just took a length of yarn. I didn't have a specific amount or anything. I just thought that looked good. And then I separated the individual strands of the yarn. So this is just a basic black yarn you can get at any craft store, you know, anywhere. And it had four strings twisted together to make this particular yarn. So I just separated all four strings. And then once I got them all separated, I lined them all up together, folded them in half, cut them apart on the bottom, and then folded that in half again, and cut that apart, and then glued it onto his ear. Took some hot glue a couple times just to get all the strands to hold, but it looked pretty cute. And then I did the second ear off camera. So 
So next I went in with just a small piece of yarn and cut that in half and one half of it I just balled it up in my fingers to make the nose and then took the other half and separated that into the four strands as well because I needed these little pieces to make his, I don't know, his mouth. I guess it's the mouth that connects from the nose. So that's what I took for that. I just took these little short strips and separated them to use for that part. So then I glued, I did a glue line in a little bit of a curve so that it would stay hopefully in a curve position and it worked pretty well. And then I used my tweezers to place it because my hot glue gun is a high temp hot glue gun and I already had burned my fingers quite enough. So I was using the tweezers. So be careful if you're using hot glue. So once I got that placed to where I was happy, I repeated it on the other side of his face. Then I went in and added another little drop of glue and glued on his little bitty nose. So now it's time to make his legs and I just took this like twine that I have and I tied a knot in it and then I cut it to the length that I wanted and I did this four times because he has four legs didn't think I needed to show you four times on camera so I didn't so once I got all four legs cut and to the length that I wanted I just picked out the four spots on his body where I wanted to glue them on and just sat there holding the leg on until the glue set for each leg again I only filmed one of them because I think you get the gist and don't need to see me doing this four times in a row so once I got all of them, they're so cute once I got all of his legs on I turned to the back of the pine cone and applied some hot glue in the back center and then took my black yarn which I didn't really prepare enough for this as you can see the yarn almost flew off my table but I took the black yarn and I pushed it onto the hot glue back there, tried to get a little, little bit of yarn back there to secure it. As it turns out, I ended up just filling up that back hole with yarn and then filling all of it in with hot glue so that it was really secured in there and it took a little bit of extra time for the glue to set because there was more of it. But in the end, I was happier with that. It felt more secure. I could pull and tug and drag this little dog and it wasn't going to fall apart. <laughs> so here I'm just, again, not quite prepared. I'm holding Dash in my right hand while I'm trying to pull the yarn with my left hand and it started knotting on the skein and I was having issues, but this is the length of yarn basically that you'll have to pull and what are they doing next door? The whole house is vibrating. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's serious. I have no idea. What are they drilling? Are they drilling into the wall? I don't know what's happening. Anyway, that's what he turned out. My little cute dash dog made out of a pine cone. I think he's so adorable. He sits on my desk right now just looking at me in admiration. Makes me so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video tu tu tutorial not tutorial tutorial and if you make one then take a picture of it and tag me on instagram at notemon because i want to see if you do these i want to see how yours come out here's some close-ups of it you can also find me on twitter at notemon and i have a blog at www.notemon.com and as always thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this if you did i'd really appreciate if you hit the like button hit the subscribe button share it with your friends i hope you guys all had a great holiday and that you're staying safe out there Knox.